What's up, Snell? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vital V. <laughs> and today we're going to be blasting Japan's Anatomia Decaying in Obscurity on Goat Grind Records. I have this on LP, but I just felt like listening to the cassette version of some dismal, slow death metal. So fucking good. Jun and Takashi absolutely kill it here. This is a little bit different than their debut, Dissecting Humanity, as this was when they started, you know, making a lot more weirder songs with a lot more outside influences and going down a lot doomier path. Still having Chris from Autopsy do the text and stuff, which is awesome. But I love this release and Cranial Obsession, like, equally. And same thing with Dissecting Humanity. It's just, this isn't like a straight up worship of Autopsy. It has these outside elements of, like, doom and whatnot that just make it stand out from the bunch. And the whole entire, you know, dismal slow death metal tag is just so on the money for Anatomia sound. Fuck yes. After the Hollowed Cadaver promo, I can't wait to hear what they have in store for their next full-length record. But Go Grind Records did the cassette version of this. Nuclear War Now did the LP. Both sound great. I was just in the mood to listen to the cassette version. And thanks to John Randall, we're going to be going over 20 Bucks Spins, Witch Vomit, and their sophomore record, Buried Deep in a Bottomless Grave. Killer artwork. Hailing from Portland, Oregon, spend the next 27 minutes churning the cauldron of death that is the sophomore full length from these Portland maniacs. Sick, sick shit here. I love the interludes by Tim Cull of Weregoat fame. Soma Free Institute, Septennial Dusk, Nightfell. Tim from Parasitic Records does all the interludes on this record. Which makes sense because Tim did release the first Witch Vomit full length. And this is the B2 variant. But starting off with a track like From Rotten Guts and ending on Fumes of Dying Bodies, this kicks ass the entire way through. All music and lyrics exhumed and violated by Witch Vomit. Buried Deep in a Bottomless Grave was recorded and mixed in February 2019 at Red Lantern Studios by Evan Mursky and mastered by Dan Randall. Fuck yeah, because the production on here is one of the highlights of this record. So good. And this promo photo is also fucking amazing. And as you can tell, Witch Vomit has added a few members since last time. And seeing them live, I know that um, JG couldn't make it over due to work or something because Torture Rack had to cancel as well. In case you didn't know, members of Torture Rack are also in Witch Vomit, but Witch Vomit currently is filth on cranium crushing gore fucker. That's the best instrument name ever. CL is the Corpse Whisperer. JG, Meat Hooks of Doom, and Tempter, Evil Spells, and Screams from Below. Thanks to 20 Buck Spin, Head Split Records, Parasitic Records, all who contributed to this record, Portland Death Fiends, and everyone 
else forever squirm in misery. Also, look at how gorgeously filthy the lyric sheet is. This caught my eye immediately. I was like, whoa, like when I was listening to it, because like I was saying, it starts off with from rotten guts and right out of the gate, it's all killer, no filler, just tiny little interludes by Tim Cole and they're all very much fitting. Nothing feels out of place. It's fucking sick. And from there you have Despoilment, Buried Deep in a Bottomless Grave, Dead Veins, which is an awesome title, Dripping Tombs starts off the B-side, Squirming in Misery is a great instrumental track, and then Fumes of Dying Bodies. This is fucking filthy death metal, and it's fucking great. But it's also very, very heavy American death metal with a little touch of Finnish death metal thrown in for good measure, but seven filthy hymns of death from the Portland area. Fuck yeah. Witch Vomit delivered the goods on their sophomore full length. But we got the B2 variant here, which straight up, unless you put it in the sun, looks like black vinyl. But it's all good because it still sounds the same, and that's all that matters. But yeah, this is a color. I'm trying to get it in a way that you could see the red, but I knew this was going to be a problem. I'm trying here. Yeah, it's not very... I would have got... I would have much rather got a black vinyl, actually, since it's kind of pointless. I mean, I, I don't really care. It, it, as long as it fucking spins, you know what I mean? But this is kind of a disappointment when it comes to an actual color variant. But no big deal. What is a big deal is how fucking sick these tunes are that are buried deep in a bottomless grave killer killer death metal from portland oregon and witch vomit once more proving to the death metal community why they're one of the best in the game right now and i've been a fan of witch vomit since the first demo which i sadly don't have a physical copy of but I've always liked this band, and I'm really, really stoked on Buried Deep in a Bottomless Grave. An amazing follow-up to the mini-LP that was Poison Blood. Poison Blood I have on cassette, and I love it. I kind of want to grab this on cassette in the near future, but for right now, it sounds great, and that's all that fucking matters, because Witch Vomit fucking rule and if you ever get a chance to see these maniacs live do it seeing them just destroy new york was amazing like absolutely fucking amazing one of the best bands i've seen in 2019 witch vomit buried deep in a bottomless grave i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten pretty much a perfect slab of American death metal that just happens to be riddled with some radioactive Finnish dust from 1991. Awesome, awesome stuff on 20 Buck Spin Records. Again, if you want to get the B2 variant, be my guest, but I feel like you're better off getting the black variant as it's kind of the same thing, unless I just got a kind of shitty copy of it. But like I said, this plays fine, and that's all that fucking matters. But if you, for some reason, really do care about the colors that much, then I don't know what to tell you. You should have got the first variant. But what does matter are the tunes that exist within these grooves, clocking in at around 27 minutes, Witch Vomit do the old in-out, in-out, and just like their counterparts in Torture Rack, 
they get the job done in around 30 minutes and it leaves you wanting more and that is I think purposely done because after I listened to this yesterday I went straight to the debut and then I just listened to everything witch vomit right in the torture rack and then went back to the <laughs> what I've been absolutely devouring, which is the new Consummation record, which, yeah, so fucking gnarly. But I love the artwork here, it's great. And I can't wait to go over The Great Solar Hunter with you, ladies and gentlemen, at home. But for right now, Witch Vomit, buried deep in a bottomless grave, 9 out of 10 killer American death metal from Portland, Oregon. Get into it. And we were blasting Anatomia decaying in obscurity on Goat Grind Records and Nuclear War Now, who did the vinyl version. So good, I just, like I said, I felt like listening to it on cassette. Dismal, slow death metal from Japan. You can't go wrong with Anatomia. Like, same thing with Witch Vomit. You can't go wrong with Witch Vomit. So, turn the cauldron and enjoy. But, as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you, John Randall, for making this video possible. And thank you to Tim Cole at Parasitic Records. Everyone at 20 bucks spin and all you sickos at home watching. Hoops. Yeah.